Air hockey is fast, but just how fast? I've taken to the table with number two world ranked Jacob Weissman, and with the help of physics teacher Brian Niebuhr to measure key components of his game and just what it means to the players. First up, speed of the shot. Throughout the course of our game, we clock Jacob's fastest shots at 41 miles per hour. At first glance, that might not seem that fast, but how does it translate? At 41 miles per hour, the puck is traveling approximately four feet in 143 milliseconds. That's over 28 feet per second. And if that time's applied to hitting a major league fastball, the pitch would be traveling close to 400 miles per hour. Basically, it's impossible to stop unless you read the shot and start moving first and happen to be in the right place at the right time. Whoa, that's fast. Now, what about the release? The release is the amount of time it takes the player's hand to move from a cocked position to impact with the puck. And Jacob has one of the fastest in the game. Using slow motion replay, we calculated that Jacob's motion takes 0.03 seconds to strike the puck. 0.03 seconds is half the time it takes the fastest boxers to throw a jab. Not only does it allow Jacob to execute his shot quickly, but it also allows him to apply a tremendous force to the puck while not giving his opponent time to react to his shot. His mallet is accelerating to meet the puck at 35 Gs. It's 35 times faster than things accelerate due to gravity. Well, there you have it. Do you think you're fast enough to beat these pros?